Hello, this is Mr. Zella, and I am giving you humongous Halo 4 news right now. This is really big news, and I want to share it to all my fans right now. This is the, the ranking system is revealed and much more involved to it. So stay tuned and watch this video if you want to learn a lot about Halo 4's multiplayer and more of the other stuff that's going into this game, including campaign and kind of Spartan Ops and all that crap. This is really big info, and 343... Thanks for giving this info, this is what we've been really dying for lately, and the Forge maps looks awesome. Well, this is, right now, this is the Spartan 4 career, and it says welcome to the Spartan 4 program. When you first enter Infinity Multiplayer, you automatically enlist into the Spartan 4 pro program and begin your Spartan career. You start off with an Assault Rifle, Magnum, Frag Grenade, and Recruit Armor, Emblem, Visor, and Stance. That is really cool. And apparently that's what you start off with now. So everyone's going to start off with an assault rifle. Not very surprising. So it looks like we're going to have to unlock the DMR and battle rifle as you go on and level up. Uh, it's kind of like Call of Duty and more like Battlefield 2. So maybe whatever. I don't know. And this is Spartan 4 ranks, what we've been really dying for. Spartans begin their career in the base Spartan 4 ranks. There are 50 ranks. Ooh. 50 ranks to work your way through from SR1 to SR50, unlocking gameplay, gameplay and visual item customization items as you rank up. To rank up, you need to earn XP, you play war games, Spartan apps, earn a commendation, completing challenges, and use, use Forge. E at, e rank, at e each rank, you will earn one or more Spartan points, which you have to get to unlock stuff, or you just level up. I, I don't know, but... That is the ranking system, apparently, and it's kind of like Halo 3 and Halo Reach combined, like I said in my last video, and I don't know if I'm really loving it right now, but it seems pretty cool, and I hope it's a success when multiplayer officially starts. Alright, here we go to the next one. This is loadouts. At each loadout contains a primary weapon, secondary grenade, armor ability, tactical, tactical, tactical package, and support package. As you rank up, you will gain access to the armor ability slot, and tactical package slot and support upgrade slot. We have default loadouts in our war games playlist to give you a preview of these items before you reach those ranks and to offer an alternative to your own custom loadouts. Over the course of Spartan 4 ranks, you unlock 4 extra loadouts, more stuff, SR6, level 6, level 14, level 26, and level 41. Our total 5 loadouts, so that seems pretty cool and it seems like as you rank up higher, it's said in there, uh, you will rank up and get more loadouts well that's pretty cool for the loadouts and also we have visual customization and right now this you just see a helmet spartan 4 start out with the same recruit look as you rank up this is reflected reflected in the look of your spartan which is visible to other players in gameplay in every multiplayer lobby visual customizations such as armor armor skins weapon skins visors emblem and stances are unlocked through several means earning a specific spartan rank earning a sp specific rank and specialization and more stuff included which is not really big well that's how you earn armor apparently and it, uh, that seems like how i planned on earning armor in the first place so that wasn't humongous news so here we go to specializations specializations once you hit uh Level 50, you have an option to enlist in a new specialization. You can choose which of those available specializations to enlist in. Um, our composed specializations are composed of 10 levels. As you rank up, you get new armor, emblems, visor colors, armor, and weapon skins. All players have access to two specializations at launch. What worker operator? The rest are listed below, and check the link if you want to see. Engineer, tracker, rogue, stalker, pathfinder, and pioneer. Other players will be able to see your specialization rank. This keeps going, blah blah blah, until you reach Spartan rank 130. Wow, that's a lot. Damn. And here we go with commendations. Commendations? Halo 4 features over 120 commendations, covering a wide variety of activities per weapon, per enemy type. That's We all know commendations are. And... You can be awarded with visual customization items as well to, to, for Master Room, so that's pretty cool. And I really like accommodations actually this time, so hopefully they are good and a bit more useful than Halo Reach's. And yeah, they're pretty cool to get since Halo Reach did them, and I always like went crazy when I got accommodation for some reason, only because you got this big metal on the bottom of your screen. And I really think that's cool. Also at the end of the video I'll be talking about all this stuff if you missed some things. 
Alright, now we go to challenges. Challenges, like accommodation challenges have expanded in Halo 4. We do we not ha only have daily content, but we also have weekly and monthly uh, content as well, giving players ample time to complete different challenges while with varying levels of difficulty. Campaign, you have two weekly challenges. War games, you have two daily challenges, two weekly cha challenges, and one monthly challenge. Spartan Ops, you have six challenges, and Waypoint, exclusive daily cha challenges for war games. So, if you're looking to start your career, definitely want to stick around for the next segment of the bulletin. So, because it's all about to get double XP, double XP up in here. So, that means a big thing for the Halo Waypoint bulletin next. And just saying, this is the Halo 4 double XP thing. I'm definitely buying Mountain Dew before I get Halo 4 to get some double XP. And it's kind of like Modern Warfare 3's way, uh, where you get Doritos and Mountain Dew to unlock some double XP. I was planning on getting the Mountain Dew before Halo 4 even announced that, so yeah. Also, I'm going to be talking about all the stuff at the end, so stay tuned for that. Please watch the end if you missed some stuff. Well, if you missed anything, um, please look at this and watch for the sake, if you want to know. It seems like Spartan, I'm going to be talking about Spartan ranks for this one. Spartan ranks seem pretty cool, and it's basically almost like Call of Duty, or kind of like Battlefield. So, the Spartan ranks seem okay to me. I mean, not a humongous fan of it right now, but it seems like it's pretty cool. Loadouts, we all know what loadouts is. And specializations, apparently it's kind of like prestiging where you just get a specialization and you get more levels to complete. And well, this has been Mr. Zah. I hope you enjoyed this Halo 4 news. If you want more, please comment below because I'll sure to be do it. And this has been one of my Halo 4 news. So stay tuned. This has been Mr. Zah. Please subscribe and enjoy the news.